Stuff I found interesting. So welcome to the segment of the week where we throw in anything we feel like we want to talk about. Um, and this past week, Barry wants to talk about video communication platforms. On to you, Barry. Yeah, so we've seen with everyone in quarantine, everyone working from home, there's been a huge surge in them people using video conferencing as a way to communicate with teams and to do work. And all, or not, not just work, to actually communicate with, with family and friends around the world. Yeah. And so, like, this is a this is one of those moments where some companies during this lockdown period are going to absolutely soar, and these video conferencing companies are one of those examples. Now, the leader in the market for as long as I can remember has been Skype. I mean, Skype has become almost a verb we use. I'm going to Skype you. It means yeah. to video conference you. And it shows how strong their brand is because Definitely. they have been the number one for so long. But what's been interesting for me in the last week to see, Chad, was that I think Skype is losing a big battle right now. I think that Zoom, as, as, a, as kind of an up-and-coming uh, company, has really taken the world by storm. And every company that I see or talk to is using Zoom for their conferencing. And so I don't know why Zoom has managed to find its way into this number one spot. I think it's because Skype has been known as somewhat not as reliable in certain instances. And Zoom has been shown as uber reliable in every, every time it works. Um, but interesting, Chad, I think that Zoom has got a worse audio and, and video quality than Skype. And you would think they'd be important in this, but it seems that only reliability matters. I don't know. It really is a fascinating one. Sometimes I think we, as consumers, just latch on to something because, you know, we like the way it looks. We, we like the user interface. Um, and so it's really interesting. Um, in terms of that, I think in a corporate context, uh, it's easily understandable if it is more reliable um, because you'd much rather have that call even though it's not as clear. Uh, but the fact that it's not cutting out uh, really does help. Um, personally, I love, uh, you know, all things that are high resolution, etc. Barry knows where I stand on this completely. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, I mean, I think that's a, a fascinating thing to see. Uh, and we'll have to see what Microsoft, uh, who ultimately owns Skype, uh, are going to do on the back of this uh, trend that's happening. Um, also really interesting is how these products can be integrated with other suites. Um, so we've seen, uh, you know, Zoom integrates really nicely in the, in the Google remit. Some companies, believe it or not, um, do not use Microsoft Office at all. I've been at a company where Gmail was the app that I used to send emails. Uh, I used Google Calendar, Google Drive, housed all my files. Um, and there was direct integration with Zoom, which is really, really convenient uh, to send a meeting request to someone and literally just click on the link to say, make this a Zoom meeting. All of a sudden, they've got the link there. Uh, you don't have to do anything else. Um, certainly, I think, uh, an important thing to add. I'm not sure if Skype has this integration, Barry, uh, but if it doesn't, don't you think this could be one of those differentiators? Yeah, I think that's where Skype has missed a trick. I think that they had they have so many large corporations around the world who are just absolutely tied down by Office and by the whole Microsoft suite. And they kind of they have these legacy systems in place and they and everywhere in their office uses Microsoft products. But for some reason, Skype is still not winning that battle. So I'm sure there are those integrations. I'm sure Skype is integrated into yeah. Office and into Outlook and all those good things. But I still see a thousand X the Zoom meetings and I do the Skype meetings. And so that is bizarre. I think that Skype has really missed a trick. I don't know what they've got wrong, but they really should be the biggest winners in the situation. They really should be soaring right now. And Zoom is eating their lunch. And so it's interesting <laughs> to see a, a small up and coming business, which is now not so small anymore, mm. taking on this giant, which is Microsoft and winning. Well, you always wonder whether Microsoft is going to buy them out. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Oh, 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 oh,